video, we will be talking about conduits and its different types. So the objective of this uh, lesson no? or this video is that identify, we need to identify the different types of conduits. So the most commonly used raceway in residential and commercial electrical installation is a conduit. This raceway is readily available and is very to install. Conduits are grouped depending on the material they are made of. The three main types of conduits are metal conduits, non-metallic conduit, and flexible conduits. Okay, so we have the types of conduit. So we have the metal conduits. Metal conduits are used in non-corrosive environment. They are made up of either steel or aluminum or any or an alloy of both. So their high tensile strength and rigidity is their main advantage. So the metal conduits are used in non-corrosive environments. So those um, environment which does not produce rust because metal. So if if, if um, metal reacts to a uh, to any corrosive substance in the environment, it will uh, rust no so they could be made up of steel or aluminum or an alloy or the mixture of both steel and aluminum so they have their their high tensile strength and their rigidity is their main advantage no okay so the first type is the rigid metal conduit or rmc no also known as the rigid steel conduit rec or the rigid conduit it is at Tradable raceway of circular cross section designed for the physical protection and routing of conductors and cables and for use as an equipment grounding conductor when installed with its integral or associated coupling and appropriate fittings. RMC is generally made of steel, ferrous, no? or, or with a protective coating or aluminum non ferrous. Uh, special use types are silicon bronze and stainless steel. No? The standard length of the RMC shall be 300 mm, so that is the longest uh, length no? available for RMC, including an attached coupling and each end shall be threaded longer or shorter lengths with or without coupling, untreaded or un untreaded shall be permitted. Okay. So this is the appearance or a photo of an RMC. So this is the coupling. No, this is the coupling. Inside of it is the is the the thread. No, the uh, one end of the RMC which has the thread. So it comes with different sizes also. So the smaller size of a conduit is one half, and depending the type of conduit, the 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 largest size will depend on its type. No. Okay, next we have the galvanized rigid conduit or GRC. It's a galvanized steel tubing with a tubing ball that is thick enough to allow it to be traded. Its common applications are in commercial and industrial construction. So this is the photo of a um, GRC. So it is uh, the same with an RMC except that it is galvanized, so meaning it, it, uh, it has a high... Um, a high tolerance on corrosive um, so, uh, chemicals or cor corrosive substance in the environment. Then we have intermediate metallic conduit or I IMC is a steel tradable raceway of circular cross section designed for the physical protection and routing of conductors and cables and for use as an equipment grounding conductor when installed with its integral or associated coupling and appropriate fittings. So, like RMC, the standard length of IMC is 3,000 millimeter. Okay, so this is a photo of an intermediate metallic conduit. Then we have the electrical metallic tubing is an untreated thin wall raceway for circular cross section designed for the physical protection and routing of conductors and cables and for use as an equipment grounding conductor when installed utilizing appropriate fittings. The standard length of an AMT is also 3,000 millimeters. Aluminum conduit, similar to galvanized steel conduit, is a rigid conduit generally used in commercial and industrial applications. So it has a higher resistance to rust in extreme corrosive environment where, 
where plastic coating of the tubing is insufficient could do it insufficient no could do it be made from stainless steel bronze or brass so sometimes the the AMT is also known as, uh, is also known as al aluminum conduit. Now, it is an untraded thin wall, so meaning it cannot be traded. So, uh, usually, it's, it's co coupling comes in a screw type, no? Screw type. Okay, next we have the, this is the uh, photo of an electrical metallic tubing or an EMT. Then we have flexible conduits. So, flexible conduits are used to connect to motors or other devices where isolation from vibrations is useful or where an excess number of fittings would be needed to use uh, rigid connect connections. Electrical codes may restrict the length of a run of some types of flexible conduit. So usually, the flexible conduits are used on devices where um, the vibrations no, must be isolated because if you are going to use the, uh, the metallic conduits which has a high tens tensile or high um rigidity the the vibrations also will affect the conduit run and also the the uh, the other devices that cannot be affected or that 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 is not um uh, permitted to be affected by the vibrations especially if our load is an electric motor okay so one of the example of a uh, flexible conduit is a flexible metal conduit it is a raceway of circular cross section made of he helically wound form interlock metal strip. FMC is used primarily in dry areas where it would be impractical to install AMT or other non non flexible conduit. Yet their metallic strength to protect conductors is still required. The flexible tubing does not maintain any permanent bed. FMC may be used as an equipment grounding conductor if specific provisions are made are met regarding the trade size and length of F FMC used in addition to the amperage of the circuits contained in the conduit. So this is a photo of an FMC. So as you can see, we have here the interlocking helica. No? So this one is um, the reason why uh, a flexible metal conduit is also uh, somewhat um, uh, rigid and also flexible at the same time. The liquid type flexible metal conduit or F L or F L F M C. Sorry for that. So it is a raceway of circular cross section having an outer liquid tight non-metallic sunlight resistant jacket over an inner flexible metal core with associated couplings, connectors, and fittings for the insulation of electric conductors. Okay, so this is a photo of a flexible uh, liquid tight flexible metallic conduit no so this is the covering no it is a it is a liquid tight and sunlight resistant no and this is the inside which is basically a metal conduit no this this wire is for the grounding no the grounding of the system when 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 this uh, conduit is, at, uh, is attached to a device then we have the non metallic conduits so non-metallic conduits have lower tensile strength compared to metal conduits, but they are widely used in areas where corrosive chemical exists. So the main advantage of non-metallic conduits is that they are used on corrosive uh, environment, wherein the the corrosive chemicals can cause the metal conduits to rust. No. So the first type of metal conduits is the uh, of a non-metallic conduit is the electrical non-metallic conduit which is a non-metallic pliable corrugated raceway of circular cross-section with integral or associated couplings, connectors, and fittings for the installation of electric conductors. ENT is composed of material that is resistant to moisture and chemically and chemical atmospheres and is flame retardant. A pliable raceway is a raceway that can be bent by hand with a reasonable force without other assistance so this conduit is approved for the use on non-corrosive environment so an electric non-metallic conduit is a pliable no pliable raceway meaning it could be bent using the hands so this is the appearance of a electrical non-metallic tubing or conduit next we have the rigid non-metallic conduit or the rnmc also known as the 
polyvinyl chloride PVC tube. No, it is a non-metallic untreated tubing that can be bent by heating. This conduit is the lightest in weight compared to other conduit materials and usually lower in cost than other forms of conduit. The various fittings made for metal conduit are also made for PVC. The plastic material is its moisture and many corrosive substance, but since the tubing is non-conductive and an extra bonding or you must put a grounding conductor to the uh, to each of the conduit itself no so you must put a a uh, what's called what a grounding no grounding conductor to the whole run of the conduit no so the the plastic material on this conduit is mo uh, moisture resistant or could resist moisture and also can co could resist corrosive environment no but unlike the electrical and metallic tubing, this conduit cannot be bent by hand. So it is a non-pliable uh, conduit. So it, it could be bent using a heating uh, device, so such as a heat gun or a blue torch. Then we have a photo of a PVC. So this is the most common conduit that is used in uh, electrical installations. The last one we have the liquid tight flexible non metallic conduit or the F LFMC is a ratio of circular cross section of various types as follows. So one have a smooth, seamless inner core and cover bonded together and having one or more reinforced layers between the core and the covers designed as type um, LFNC A. The other one, a smooth inner surface with integrated reinforcement. Within the conduit wall designate as type LFNC B. And we have the last one, a corrugated internal and external surface without integral reinforcement within the conduit wall designated as LFN C. LFNC is a flame resistant and with fittings and is approved for the installation of electrical conductors. This conduit, the, it, uh, the whole three types of this conduit. Is, uh, can be used or is used in corrosive areas where conductors need to be protected from vapors and liquids. Okay, so this is a photo of a liquid tight flexible non metallic conduit. Okay, so that will be our discussion for conduits and its different types. So I hope you understand something in this video, and as always, enjoy learning.